Welcome back! Today I'm going to show you how to achieve multiple outlines around your meshes in Blender 2.9. Alright, I'm in a new scene here, I'm just going to delete everything and then I'm going to add back our cube. You can use whatever you want, I'll just like use the cube for demonstration purposes. You can use the monkey, your own meshes, whatever you want. Next up we're gonna give it some materials. First off, the material actually uh, has how it looks like. I'm just gonna use a blue and make sure we actually uh, look deaf here so we can see what we're doing. Like, like a deep, deep blue. Nice. Alright, next up we're gonna add an outline material. Uh, I like to use a emission. And we make sure that we have back face cooling enabled. And I'll just keep it white, but I'm going to add two more for our other outlines. For that, I just use the material I just made and then make it unique by clicking on the two. And then make one red. And the other one, make it unique again. Let's make this one green. Put all the colors in there. Okay, cool. Next up, we're going to go into uh, our vertex groups and just going to add a single group. Uh, let's just name it here. Let's call it outline group. It's gonna be important later Okay, so we got everything set up for our uh, default cube usually you would now go into the modifiers and it is a solidifier to make um, Your outline, but for multiple outlines, we're actually gonna do something else select our cube here and press alt D make sure it's alt D not shift D because Alt D actually creates a linked copy. So if you actually go into edit mode on your original object and then edit that, it actually edits both. And we can actually uh, use that. So let's put that back here. Let's actually name this. This will be our outline. And then I'm gonna parent that to the original cube. You don't have to do that, but I just like, it, uh, like to do it for just general tidiness. Now with our outline selected, now we give that our uh, solidify. Set the offset to one, make it a bit thicker. In the normals, set it to flip. And in the materials, set it to one. There we go, there's our outline. And you can still, if you go back to your normal cube and edit that, it follows our cube. Great. So I'm gonna just undo that. Now, um, little problem we have now is if you like hide the original cube, nothing happens because our outline still has basically the original cube inside it. And that's like unnecessary geometry we do not need. And to fix that, all we have to do is in our outline, add a mask modifier and set the vertex group to the outline group. Nothing will happen. Everything will suddenly be gone. Back in our solidify, we just go into output vertex group and set the shell to outline group. And now we can unhide our cube again and ta-da! Great, so all we have to do now to get more outlines, just select our outline, go back in here and press Alt D again, right click so it stays in the middle, and then with it is selected, we just make it a bit thicker and set the offset to two and ta-da, we have a second one. And let's do it again. Alt D, right click, uh, make it a little bit thicker again, set it to three. And you can do that as often as you like. And it doesn't create any unnecessary geometry and it still stays perfectly editable, just like that. Cool, hope this was helpful for you and have fun outlining your stuff. Bye-bye!